Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Anthony Cummins. I'm a historical researcher and author. Please enjoy the video. Right everyone, today's video is going to be about the ninja mask. Now I know you guys have stuck with me for years on the ninja mask, but there's actually a, a research called Les Con who's doing information from a Chinese angle on the ninja. But So I'm going to get into that any minute now. But before we get into that, just quickly, of course, all my videos are done to support a book. Please get this, How to Be a Modern Samurai. It's got aspects of the ninja involved. Um, that is my girlfriend's dog. It's called Pixie. Hold on. So my two Rottweilers are with my sister and my girlfriend brought a dog for the weekend. Look at this. It's the most beautiful dog ever. Absolutely wonderful. So it's a French bulldog. Blue. There you go, Pix. Off you go. You can go to the other couch. So, right guys. So, basically, Les has been doing a series of videos. Now, what I want you to do is click the link below and then go and subscribe to Les Con. Now, I'm going to talk about him in a minute, but basically... Anybody who's doing any research into the ninja, into the Chinese connection, then support them anyway. And he seems to have been doing um, a lot of videos on ninja recently. So please go to his channel, please support him and click away. Now, I don't agree with uh, many things Les says, but not in the way of like, oh, you're shit. but I genuinely, it's a debated issue. So here we go. I'm going to go through it now. Okay, so support Les, support me. Everyone be happy. We all get on together. Everybody's fine. There we go. Now, uh, Les recently has come up with a photograph um, a, concerning what could be a robber from Japan. Now, I'm going to leave the link to his video below, but I'm going to sum up Les's arguments here. So basically, Les, in his videos, refers to another researcher. And he says those, and I'm sure he's talking about me, basically. It's only me saying these things, so I'm assuming he's talking about me without wanting to mention it. I don't mind, Les, if you mention me, not a problem. As long as people debate in a good way, I'm more than happy. Now, uh, Les has come through saying he believes the ninja mask is real. He believes the straight sword is real. He believes it's all direct from China. But I'll probably do another video on that. So today we're just going to talk about Les's video on the ninja mask, the new one. He put a picture up, this picture. Now, this is a snapshot from Les's video. And this is a picture. Now, thanks to him, I have never seen this picture before. I've not even seen it do the rounds. You normally see them there. I've never even seen it do the rounds. So he says this is a picture from the late 1800s and it is um, a staged picture. That's fine. Everybody knows these were staged at the end. And at the bottom, it's got the word a robber there. Now, what I think Les has, what Les has said here is that he thinks the man on the floor is the robber and the man with the ninja mask on is the, the arresting officer. I think that's totally opposite. To me, clearly, the, the man, the central figure, is the robber. He is the central figure of the photograph. He is wearing stereotypical robber's garb for that time. Absolutely. The other man is clearly a merchant walking along. He is being robbed by the robber. There is no policeman here. Otherwise, the picture would say it's a policeman. So and let us come to the conclusion that this must be a ninja, ninja or policeman. This is a ninja mask. I totally disagree with that. But let's uh, let's have a look at this. It appears that the um, the man in the picture is the robber. Now he's got the ninja mask on. I'm going to say ninja mask, and that uh, this shows that the ninja mask was um, a real thing. Now there's a fundamental issue I've been trying to get across to everyone here for many many years. I've been doing this is that I have never said that thieves, infiltrators never wore masks. We know they did. There is ample photographic, um, ample um, print art evidence of them wearing it. There's loads of um, references to sort of this idea of a, a thief wearing a mask. Now, the issue is, is, is it a ninja mask? First of all, there's no such thing as a ninja mask. I have never seen, has anybody else seen, um, the idea of a ninja shinobi no mono mask? whatever you want to use for the Japanese surfer mask. I've never seen it. I've seen things with the um, adverb shinobi, the verb shinobi to creep in, if you like, depending on how it's used in the sentence. You get the creep in mask, i.e. infiltrator mask, i.e. stealer in mask, but I've never seen shinobi no mono mask. Uh, that's because, like all shinobi no mono, wear this mask. But what we do know is that this is where the problem comes and everybody gets stuck on this problem. Is shinobi no mono is is um sh is based let me get this right basically originally the verb shinobu is there um to creep in and all that and everything and, and the endurance half of it and it becomes shinobi no mono which means person who creeps in person who endures but the problem there is it also is used 
to mean anyone creeping in. So Shinobi no Mono, Ninja, is actually a position in an army. And a Shinobi um, is actually just a verb used for anyone coming in. And sometimes a noun, meaning it's a Shinobi, a man who creeps in. So you could ha absolutely have a man dressed in the stereotypical ninja with his ninja mask on. We've got plenty of images of it. And it's got Shinobi there. But it doesn't it's in the wrong time setting it's and it's the the context is totally wrong it is not a military context it is absolutely them creeping in into someone's house burgling raping um revenge and all that sort of stuff so it's never like here's a ninja doing ninja things now we have so much evidence so much evidence to show in the ninja manuals that they're not wearing masks. We know this. What is the evidence? Cover your face because it's white. Use inks and oils on your skins to get rid of the whiteness. Use your tenugui over your head to cover the cheeks and sides of your face. Um, put your talisman thing in your hair. If you've got a mask over your head, like the typical uh, ninja mask is, you can't put a hairpin in. Uh, you know, it just doesn't work. So we know full well that there is no evidence for a ninja mask. Anyway, so evidence for a mask used by the military personnel known as ninja, Shinobu no Mono, in Japanese era warfare, 1500s, evidence zero, okay? Evidence for thieves wearing masks in the 17, 18, 1900s, it starts ramping up to a lot, okay? We have them. This photograph included. Here's a robber. He's got a mask on. He's holding someone down. It's posed. He's like, you know, and I'm going to kill you. And this is my um, this is my victim. I am a robber. And that's what the picture clearly is showing. So the idea there is you get a robber with this mask on. Now, this fundamentally comes back to the basics is is that when we discuss these things is don't jump to conclusions. It's like it's, this must be a ninja mask in all history. Historical research is this. Where does it appear in history? Ninja mask, nowhere. A mask used for infiltration, the verb is shinobu, shinobi. It's there, a shinobi noun, meaning a thief in the context of civilian life, stealing. We find them there, we've got it. Military night thieves working for the government, the, the local lord. Evidence for masks, zero. I have one piece of evidence one that is uh, and, and i love to get this scott you buy you guys buy more bloody books on ninjas and we can do this but i've got a scroll 50 percent translated by that i mean it's all done but we need to like polish it up and it's got the description of a ninja perfectly you know actually it's not that far away from the stereotypical ninja but far off that it's not the same thing and it includes a type of mask but it is debatable about which mask it is but it's probably an open face but the point being is uh that's only one guy and still we know this for a fact is that ninjas change their disguise change their gear change everything depending on the situation you can't say i am a ninja i'm walking around here i am it just doesn't work we know full well that they wore normal armor where their maiadete is short. We know they use shorter spears or rough about. We know they took their banners down because they're moving through foliage. So they're dressed as samurai without tall head things on, without tall banners and without hooked taller spears. This is the image of the ninja. So you have, and then, but we also have another one saying when you're creeping in, this is the, the one I've got still hidden away, is you can wear this type of thing on your head. You can wear loose clothes, you wear and I've got it all there these types of things and we know that so this idea that a ninja wears this that so we don't have any evidence of a ninja mask anywhere in history it just isn't there we don't have any evidence of ninja refer or what we can consider wholeheartedly ninja being referred to as wearing mask we don't we have evidence for thieves wearing masks no problem uh, all the way across probably in China as well I'll talk about Les at the end so and I'll get to it soon so basically I I like the fact that Les is doing these videos to re-look at the way things and I really enjoy that but what it, there's fundamental flaws there is you're trying to find a ninja mask when no such thing is ever mentioned in history it's only mentioned in comics and in movies you know what I mean and then you can say oh, where did they come from that's irrelevant what does history say what do the manuals tell us they tell us that 
ninjas wore this type of armor. They wore this type of uh, like black clothes over white clothes. So in the middle of a night raid, you can take it off so you can recognize each other who's on your side. If everybody was wearing a ninja mask when you infiltrated, you'd say, well, all the ninjas are wearing ninja masks and all the samurai. It's just, that's just, we're so past that research at the minute. No offense to um, Les. It's about the context. So what you have is two groups of people who look like samurai fighting each other in the bushes. But before one arrives, they strip off their black tops, revealing white, white headbands on. And you can see that's my guy. You know, it's like a game of tag at night with Les, like chase the flag and all that. So we've got that. So I think Les, I like what he's doing in the Chinese stuff and I'm subscribed to him um, now. But the fundamental thing of saying this is a ninja mask and they were a ninja goes against all the evidence we've accumulated for over a decade now on what the ninja mask is okay we totally it's it's it doesn't fit in with it but it also doesn't mean that thieves didn't wear it and les's picture here is an absolute fits in perfectly with everything we've been saying for 10 years guys you guys have been with me for a long time that it fits in perfectly there's no evidence for ninja mask until the 17 18 1900s and then all of a sudden everybody starts wearing masks when they're stealing things why is that well, then you look at the social context. The social context is the Tokugawa people have taken over. It's become a North Korea. Everybody's got this idea that Tokugawa Japan is this peaceful. It's not. It's a North Korean military dictatorship where the, the houses are divided into wards and sections and groups of five families spy and report on each other. It's a highly sort of like witch craze. Uh, report on them you report on them if what one of the five families is wrong they all get murdered or sort of get blocked up for a year and if they haven't got the right supplies then they're going to starve to death there's lots of very totalitarian things so if you're going to start thieving in the tokugawa period there's absolute need to cover your face doesn't mean you're a ninja you're not hired as a shinobi no mono in the military which is an official military rank and it's there on the army records we have it but you go as a shinobi, meaning an infiltrator in private civilian life, not on the bequest of any law to do um, CIA type reconnaissance. It's simply to get, you know, either you're working in a gang or you're getting some squandulics in. Do you know what I mean? We don't. Whereas um, uh, Les's picture fits exactly with that. Late 1800s, recreating the Edo period. So it's the Meiji period recreating the Edo period and they say a robber what does he look like face mask sword gripping the peasant or the the, the person who's his um what's it called um prey now that is how I read the picture now if there's someone on the back of the picture that says it uh, that, that, like I've missed something Les then let me know but I do not see how the robber in this is the man on the floor with the package who's clearly traveling Versus the man hiding his face with a sword, gripping the person who he's about to rob. So that's my thinking. Now, uh, as I say, you can go to the link below. Please do subscribe to Les. Uh, please watch his videos. As I say, I don't agree with um, points here, but I do agree with points there. Now, uh, for Les, he's done some excellent research on Chinese uh, scouting, close scouting groups. So I've been watching some of his videos on that. So that's superb. Unfortunately, he doesn't give you the documentation where it comes from, uh, which is obviously leads to, well, what can you do with this information without documentation? But that is fine because I have to do that as well. But that's fine. But I always intend to publish mine and I have been publishing mine. And the moment it's published, you can all see it. It's all there. You know, it's out there. And everybody's and I try to include as much Japanese as possible, the name of the scroll, the place where the scroll is. So you can go get a copy if you want to go. So I do that. So hopefully Les will be producing all this into a book. I hope so. That would be superb. But um, I think from a certain point of view, Les is coming in with like the straight sword and the ninja mask, taking like the classical iconic image and trying to force feed it into what we've got decades uh, sorry i've got a decade's worth of documents and stacks of documents here and what what we have found is multiple times we we let's take the man senshukai use atachi not a short sword uh, no, not a straight sword no straight sword mentioned use atachi uh, other man, ninja manuals use a katana uh, shoninki use a wakazashi none of them say use a straight sword i have fought for the straight sword before simply because it's a possibility but this idea that ninja wear a straight sword when we have hundreds of pages in ninja documents references 
tens, if not a hundred, I don't know, whatever amount of references we have to a sword, and all of them are Tachi, Katana, Wakazashi. Nothing about straight swords, ever. Yep. Again, in another manual, that's not that one, I have something close, which is not a straight sword, but I have something close. And, um, and I'm looking forward to when you guys make my book a bestseller and we'll try and get more ninja manuals out. It just needs to be, you know, every I've killed a ninja. Remember the man who killed the ninja? That that's me. So everybody's like, oh, right then. But I've got still got stacks of ninja scrolls. I said I've got about, depending on how you count a ninja scroll, about fifty. Bands and Jukai being one, not ten. Document fifty, and uh, from the tiny one-page stuff to thick things to uh, you know i've got a lot of ninja scrolls um and then i've got more added to that from like finding the night raid scrolls and the spying scrolls and all that sort of stuff so guys that's the end of the video um i personally would just put my foot down here and say the robber is the guy in the mask in this picture not the other way around what do you guys think what do you guys think please please go and follow les go back through his videos have a look at what you think I do think he started from the idea of trying to force the ninja mask instead of seeing what's actually there. But that is just me saying, be careful of this when you watch his videos. Um, but do focus, have a look at some of his Chinese stuff because there's some excellent Chinese stuff there. And his research one day when he publishes it, I am going to reference myself and try and find um, a way to fit it into my research because I love the idea of everyone coming together to research. It's always been my dream. Uh, back in the day when I did uh, Ichiguni Chimi, one district, one band, didn't work, did it, guys? Because I forgot about humans. You know what I mean? Humans don't really get get so well involved in the uh, the idea of everyone get along and be nice. You know what I mean? Look at the world today. Not that many people getting on at the minute. And please, please do support me. I'm putting this one up a lot because it's my new book. It's only been out oh, two weeks. So how to be a modern samurai. Full chapter on there. How to use ninjutsu in modern days. And how to get rid of... And this is not against life. How to get rid of the cliche idea of ninjas in masks and swords and samurai on and everything. And actually put it into practice. How do you put it into practice? That's the book. So do support me, guys. Keep these videos going. Um, enjoy. And hopefully... Good luck, Les, with your research. I please do publish something because I'm looking forward to buying your book. Absolutely. Uh, or when you've got your stuff done, send me a copy. I will review it here and talk about it. Uh, it looks excellent. So good luck, Les. Uh, please, everyone, go and support him. And everyone else, get those comments down below about what you think about this picture. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs>